They go down a ramp, which is an incline plane, into the photo sensor. The photo sensor reads the opacity of the marble, which is one of the obstacles and challenges we faced was trying to get the opacity readings of the marbles correct so the photo sensor knew which color of the marble it was reading. Um, from there, it uh, asks the potentiometer where the bins are located. Um, based on position of the potentiometer. Once it determines that the potentiometer is in the correct location, then it runs a routine to push the marble off of the perch <coughs> that is at the bottom of the incline point. All right, this was uh, my first design, and the marble basically goes into the hopper and goes straight to the photo sensor where it reads it. We give it kind of a delay so it gives a good reading. It doesn't kind of jump. We had some inconsistencies with our photo sensor getting the best reading. And uh, once it reads it, it moves to the appropriate bin and drops it down. We kind of started with our bin alone. We kind of came up with the ends and then kind of came to the middle. We tried to work out all the problems in, in between. We've gone through uh, numerous designs gear-wise, um, where the hopper was located, like where it is now is where we started out. We switched it to the middle so that when the marble drops, it reads it as, like right before it hits. Right there it picked up on the blue marble, so that yellow one's technically loose, I guess. I let it wait for this one. Okay. I just tried the blue one again. A gear turning and it didn't work as good. But then we decided to use the track system. It's a lot more tighter. And then we went from, uh, it doesn't go back every time. Now it just goes straight to where it's supposed to shoot off, so. And you did that through programming, right? Uh, yeah. 